rich are rich, the poor poor, and the middle class, well, middle class, as explained by Robert Kiyosaki in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, this book is the story of Robert Kiyosaki's life in some ways because he talks about the two most influential figures in his life, his poor dad, who is his biological father, a highly intelligent, educated man, who has a PhD and has a well-paying job, but struggled financially throughout his life. On the other hand was his rich dad, who was his friend's father, and he had only 8th grade education, but he went on to become one of the richest men in Hawaii. So let's try to understand how did these two dads, how did these two guys do what they did? And we'll dive into the three most important lessons learned from his poor dad and his from his rich dad. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about financial statements because most people understand the difference between income and expense. It's very straightforward, but they do not understand the difference between assets and liabilities. Now, assets are something that work for you and generate income for you even when you are not working. For example, a cash flow positive real estate investment that produces a thousand dollars a month of income is assets. A business that produces income for you is an asset. On the other hand, a liability is always taking money out of your pocket, even when it is sitting idle, when you're not using it. So, for example, a large house you bought for personal use, for which you're paying a lot of mortgage every day, but it's not really putting any money in your pocket. Now, that is a liability. A big luxury car you bought for your personal use, again, that's a liability. It's losing value every day. So, now that we understand what assets and liabilities are, let's understand the three key most important lessons that we've learned from this book. And the first lesson is what we teach most kids when we start off, what kind of education to get. And the poor dad always told Robert, well, go ahead and get the best possible education so that you can get a great job. And he believed in conventional education. His poor dad was constantly educating himself. He was a teacher himself, but he never really learned about money and finances. He was an educated, intelligent man. He had a PhD, but he was ignorant when it came to finances and at how money worked. On the other hand, his rich dad, who had an eighth grade education, he always said, go and get the best possible possible education so that you can start your own business or buy a business and give other people jobs. A huge difference in mindset. His poor dad was saying, go get a job, go get an education so you can get a job, while his rich dad was saying, go get the best education so you can start a business or buy a business and give other people jobs. So his rich dad believed in the kind of education where he was constantly feeding his mind about business, about finances, and there were four key areas of financial education that he always emphasized on, which were accounting, investing, markets, and the laws that surround financing and money. So really important lesson to understand that instead of focusing our education on the conventional education, we need to think about educating ourselves financially, educating ourselves with accounting, investing, markets, law, and everything else that goes around to building a financial portfolio, to building a business. The second lesson, one of the most important lessons is once, let's say, you've gone to college and you graduate from college, what do you do next? What kind of work should you do? And here's the key. The rich don't work for money. What do poor and middle class people do? This is what his poor dad said. Go get a degree and get a job. His mantra was, go work for money for the rest of your life. And that's what poor and middle class people do. They learn how to work for money. They work for others all their lives. The first person they work for is their employer. Then they work for the government because the government takes taxes as soon as they receive an income. And then they work for the bank because they buy a big house, they have a big car, so they're paying mortgage, they're paying interest to the bank. And So only after they have paid, they have worked for the employer and the government and the bank, do they really start to work for themselves. And then they wonder why they're not rich. And here's the challenge. For poor and middle class people, It's fear and greed that run their lives because they're stuck in a rat race. They have this fear of not having enough money, so they keep on working hard on their job and keep on trying to make more and more money. And then they have this greed, on the other hand, of the next paycheck, of a higher paycheck. So they're constantly stuck between fear and greed. That's what runs their lives. They're fearful of starting their own business, their own venture, and that's where the rich differ. Rich Dad said, the rich don't work for money. 
money works for us. So his mantra, his rich dad's mantra was, the rich work to acquire and improve upon their assets. And these assets produce income. So rich dad was always acquiring and growing his assets, like businesses and cash flow positive real estate and stock and all this stuff. And that's what rich people do. Rich people own their businesses and then they leverage business structures, corporation structures and taxation to their advantage. And the third key lesson, really important lesson is once, let's say you have your education and you are doing something, you have a job or a business, how do you invest or spend your money? And the key, the really important key is to pay yourself first. Now, let me ask you a question. You probably know a lot of people who are making a lot of money, but are still broke in the sense they have almost no real tangible uh, assets. What happened? What is the key to these people going broke while some people who are not even making as much money on them, they are rich. Well, here's the key. The key is when do people pay themselves? When are you paying yourself? Now, here's what the poor people do. They have income coming in and then as soon as the income comes in, it goes out into expenses. They never put the income into an asset. They never pay themselves. They're ignorant about how money works. So the income comes in and goes out as an expense and they never get around to paying themselves at all. On the other hand, the middle class, they start with a certain amount of income. They spend that, that income on liabilities and the liabilities are just become expenses and the money goes out of their expense column. And they have very limited assets. They have maybe retirement savings or bank savings or some sort of housing, but that's about it. They might have higher income, but then they also have higher liabilities, which in the end keep taking money out of their pockets. So these people, the middle class people are paying themselves last. The first thing they do is pay their liabilities and expenses, and then they pay themselves. Then they uh, acquire limited assets. And they almost get no income from these assets because these assets are very limited or they are in retirement savings or stuff like that. However, the rich pay themselves first. Now, what that means is that as soon as any income comes in, they first invest a portion of it into their assets. Their money is employed right away. The remainder of their income is then used for expenses and liabilities. So while the poor and the middle class prioritize expenses and liabilities, the rich prioritize assets. The rich ensure that their expenses are much lower than their income and that their liabilities are much lower than their assets. And paying themselves first by investing in assets is a big step in that direction. So there we have it, the three most important lessons from Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, if you would like to watch a lot more of such book summaries of world's greatest books for ambitious entrepreneurs, come check out our YouTube channel where we summarize the knowledge from the world's greatest books for ambitious entrepreneurs, books like Think and Grow Rich, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Getting Things Done, and a lot more of all-time bestsellers.